Okay guys, this is just going to be a quick video to show you how to change the font using buy to font 2 and also iFile if you're getting your fonts from external places like theme blogs. So first of all, for those of you that don't have buy to font 2 already or you can't find it, you need to go into Cydia and make sure that you have this source, which is this one, Mod My Eye. I'll show you how to add a source also for those of you that don't know how to. So basically you have to click, oh, sorry this, that um, advert keeps popping up. You have to click manage, click sources, click edit in the top right here, click add, and then you would just type whatever the URL is. Click add source and then it will start downloading the package. If you already have that source, just literally search by a font to in the in the font in the search bar. Sorry, and there you have it. So once you've got by a font set up, for those of you that um changed your font the system way using that tutorial that Lou had, you need to go to her blog and download the original font there and change it the same way. And then when it comes to changing the font with Biter files, you need to go to this post here, click that, download the font you want using these pink links here. I want Andrea, so I'm just going to click download Andrea and it will come up with this page. Then you click download. The Dropbox links have been taken a while because it said there's a lot of traffic to the page. So I downloaded this earlier. But once you click download, the page will change and in this top right hand corner here it will say open in iFile. When you do that, the folder will show up here. You click that, click zip viewer and then you click this little icon in the bottom right here and click extract all files. Then you click done and you'll see that it's unzipped the file so here you want to slide across and delete the zipped folder because you don't want double of the document because that just takes up extra space then you click edit in the top right select the file you want click this clipboard in the top and right <laughs> and click cut then you click done then you want to move to just go back out to here so you can see var mobile library now you need to create a folder first of all you need to go through and check go to your m's if you do not have a folder called my fonts 2 which most of you probably don't if you haven't downloaded any fonts yet if you have already downloaded fonts from by to font then the folder is probably there but if it's not you click edit, click this plus button in the top, sorry, bottom left, and name the folder My Fonts 2. And the My in, the M in My needs to be capital, the F in Fonts needs to be capital. Add a 2, then click create. Then you click done. Then you open up that My Fonts folder, click edit in the top right. Select the clipboard again and click paste and click done. Come out of iFile now, go into your buy to font app and you'll see that your font is there. Select it and then it will ask you to respring the phone. But obviously I'm not going to do that right now. And if you have multiple fonts saved in your buy to font and you're familiar with buy to font, you'll know that this little tab here for advanced lets you choose different fonts for different sections. So you can have a different font on your keyboard, a different font for the rest of the system, a different font for iBooks, if you use iBooks. And I basically use this um, option for if I'm using a font that looks nice, but it's not really that readable, then say for a section like iBooks, I'll 
select a font that's a bit more readable for that section. And yeah, that's it really. To find a font in Cydia, you just click on, hold on, let's let that load. Click on sections, this tab here. You'll scroll down. Pass it. <laughs> scroll down to fonts and you want to select buy to font too because those are the fonts that work with iOS 7 and then there's a whole load of fonts for you to download here well, it's not that many at the moment but it's their popular ones Walt Disney's quite a popular one then you'll just click install confirm don't know why that keeps coming up but basically click install click confirm and then it will it'll just unpack click return to Cydia and then when you go into buy to font that font will now show up. So this is where you would be able to choose, like you could choose Andrea font for the camera and Walt Disney font for the keyboard. And I also just wanna show you guys a quick tip in iFile. And this is called bookmarks. And basically it's this little tab here that lets you create bookmarks for your most popular sections, you could call it in iFile. So instead of having to keep navigating through all the files, for example, if I click themes, it will just take me to my theme folder. So basically how you do that, is I'm gonna go back to the fonts file. Once you're in the folder that you wanna create a bookmark for, you just click the bookmark link, click add here, and then it will pop up this. You can see this is the fonts folder and I'm just gonna name this one fonts and click create and click done. So basically why that's easy is say you've just downloaded a font, I mean, or downloaded anything and you're in this document section, just click edit, select, sorry, edit, select, copy, then you'll just click your bookmark, click themes, and then it brings you to the folder and you'll just paste it there. So that's just another little quick tip for you guys. Hopefully that was helpful. If not, as usual, just ask in the comment section or on Instagram and I'll get back to you guys.